elbows. No clinch in lower back. A successful Fun. modern kickboxing specialist, four-time K1 World Grand Prix champion, tied with Mr. Perfect, Ernesto Hosted with the modified rules. Three minute rounds. It's all action from the get-go. Ray's doing the right thing by turning this into a problem. Ray said he was going to study the fights of Peter Arts and figure out the way to beat Sammy. Has to stay on. But let Ray, when he leads back, he jumps right on. Peter Arts, who we'll see in action later tonight, has three wins over Sammy Schultz. Seems to have his number. We talk about strategy. Sammy Schultz's strategy simply was get through the first round, then the tournament starts. Well, Sammy Schultz has devastating jabs and kickboxing. Catches the kick and he all goes down. 30 seconds. Yeah, he said that's going to be his key. Shelf very aggressive. With 10 seconds now remaining. Mixing in the kicks with the punches. Pedon shelling up. There's a knee through the guard by Shelf. I think Pedon's hurt. Pedon in all kinds of trouble. Now coming back. And there's a super kick. Oh. punch. Hey. Kickboxing at 13. Muay Thai at Round. 15. And again, left head kick right off the start of the second round by Sammy Schilt. Gun jab, left kick to the fifth section. Minute and a half remaining in the second round. Oh, oh left knee to the jaw by Guidon. Or to Guidon by Schilt. Oh. And down goes Guidon. Like I said, the most devastating jab in history. And the critics of Sammy Schilt, well, they don't have much to criticize this year. He has been very and Errol Zimmerman and looking to really establish himself here in the early stages of this tournament with one knockdown. There's a second knockdown, and this fight is over. Yeah, he's not getting that over. Well, two knockdowns in a round. Red corner, Sammy Sheen. Shield improves to 46 and 1 with his CBS Sports Network or wherever you may be watching around the world, the semifinals begin with a unbelievable 
incredible tilt between Sammy Schilt and Gokan Saki, and we're underway. The speed of Saki, the size of Schilt. Who will be able to impose their will and skill in this semifinal matchup? Sammy has been counterable for, uh, to the, with the overhand right. That's the one punch that has given him problems. Well, the left hook is what he's going to be that's, getting from the likes of Saki. That's where I was getting to. Uh, Saki is going to try and throw that big left hook because she probably expects everybody to throw the overhand right. Saki got a different style. And oh, Saki is jumping there with that bomb. Saki unable to get inside that long. It's going to become a more formidable task as the clock begins to wind down here in the second round. Unable to solve this puzzle, though there was a... Something may be up with that, that left leg. I think, I think it might be just because Rachel trying to do anything it takes to try to solve this puzzle. And he gets knocked down there. I think it's a leg. It's one low kick. Physical. Attributes of Sammy Shelter is doing what is necessary thus far. And now here comes Sammy. Legs are going now. I think they've been beat up. Yeah. They get a little tired. That means we hack out quite a bit. Oh, Sammy. Oh, he's right low right now. 30 seconds left in the second round. Will it be the final 30 seconds of Sammy's tournament? Gentlemen, the winner, red corner, Sammy Schultz. Awesome. In the opening round, and so far, Sammy Schultz has been taking the fight to Daniel Gita. Gita now waiting for the Nice lead left hook by Jab by Schultz, doubles up on the jab. There's a triple jab. Buries that right hand. Thirty seconds remaining. She'll tag them with the left hook handle jab.
dropped. It's like a sack of potatoes. He dropped like uh... Red Corner Sammy Shield. Sammy Shield, Glory Heavyweight Grand Slam Champion.